I told you, uh, I, there's only there's only one oh, there's only one website in existence that I have ever told you that you should go check out, and that was Jonathan Gray's BeforeUs.com, and I told you that for a few reasons, not because he and I are personally connected. I mean, oh, we have corresponded by email, but but other than that, it's 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 because the things that they have the archaeological artifacts that have been found from around the world that he discusses demonstrate exactly the principal tenet of archaics i have said over and over it only takes 200 years it only takes 200 years for the human intellectual species to basically advance from horse and buggy to hadron collider 200 years is nothing we have actual linguistic documents dating to the 26th century BC. How many times have we been technologically advanced? Do not believe the bullshit that you hear from the establishment about the about what they're saying is hoaxed in the Egyptian temple uh, or the Osirion at Abydos. Those are real glyphs of machines, of aircraft, of things we really can't identify, but by looking at them, we understand their machine properties. We also understand that the original hieroglyphics were done by machines, not people. People didn't do the, 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 the high precision of the Egyptian hieroglyphs. They didn't do that. That was machines did that. They're too perfect. Just like all the technolith technolithic and rectilinear uh, uh, planes of high tolerance in the Great Pyramid and in other areas of Egypt, but not in the Egypt that you know. Talking about, I'm talking about the Osirion, Abydos, that were buried below the sands in Egypt during the first 15 dynasties. The first 15 dynasties of ancient Egypt didn't even know about Abydos and Osirion. They had to get excavated. And when they were excavated, they found things on the walls that were so bizarre, they plastered over them. And on that plaster, they put Egyptian sigils and hieroglyphs. It was only by breaking the plaster off did archaeologists see the machines, pictures of machines. That's not a hoax. But the establishment tries to tell us today it is, but they just can't contain it. Too many people have seen those glyphs. They look like helicopters and ships and boats and all that. And it's exactly what they are. They were machine craft. Just like the, just like the tracks on Malta, those are machine. Just like here in the United States, I had somebody reach out to me and send me a video clip. She videoed it herself. I'm supposed to talk to her soon, too. She sent me an email. But she sent a video of some tracks, I believe it was right here in Texas, that show petrified machine tracks going in the middle of nowhere. But you have to understand, I've said this over and over and over, when the great cataclysm occurred, the day the sky fell, the collapse of the vapor canopy, you know it as the great flood. In ancient America, it was called the birth of the sun because they'd never seen the sun before. The vapor canopy collapsed. It's told all around the world. It was May 15th in the year 2239 BC, 44 something centuries ago. When this event occurred, so much happened all over the world, the topography of the world was changed. But people were running for their lives. They were also driving vehicles. They were trying to get out. They didn't know what was going on. The movie 2012 comes to mind. It was pretty chaotic. It was bad. And the evidence of the destruction is all over the world. But the technology doesn't exist. You gotta understand, even machines that were manufactured in World War I have rusted out and decayed. In 200 years from now, there will be no evidence that they were there. Yeah, things made of iron and steel, they rust, they return back. Man. After a thousand years, there's no evidence of them whatsoever. They're gone. Unlike gold and silver, which last for thousands of years. 